All right, Hickory Grove family, hope that you are doing fabulous on this Monday. It is week two of online learning, and I have Leah here with me. Leah is my big fourth grader. So sad. She's getting so big, but she goes to Hickory Grove, and she's been doing this online learning. So, Leah, what do you think about online learning? It's okay. It's okay. You miss your friends, don't you? Like most of us, uh, we are missing our people right now, but I want to encourage you students to take heart and to continue engaging in the learning process, stay involved, um, chat with your friends online, uh, still want to keep the community that we have at Hickory Grove strong. And so I want to share with you today, students and parents, a, a verse that means a lot to me, especially right now in James chapter 1, verse 2. James is talking about trials. And if you know anything about James, uh, he was a man that was, a, he, he knew about trials. Uh, he, the church right now, when he's writing this, is going through a very uh, difficult time. And so he is speaking to people, much like us as a nation, that's going through very difficult um, time right now. Our school going through a very difficult time. And he gives this um, challenge to believers. He says this in verse 2, Count it all joy. We'll read that again. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Students and, and parents alike, I, I hope that you see this trial, and yes, it is difficult, and yes, it is hard, and we're not trying to minimize that, but we can see the joy that is in the trial, that God does have a plan in um, the pain that we are all suffering and going through right now. What's the plan? To produce in us steadfastness. And so I pray that as you walk through the next couple of weeks that you wouldn't look at trials in your life and shake your fist at God or um, try to figure it out yourself. I know that's what I normally try to do is try to fix it. Or my big one, I don't know if you do this, when things go bad, do you yeah. complain? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a complainer uh, too sometimes about the trials in my life. And so we just want to encourage you today um, to take heart from the book of James uh, and, and take these words and apply them to, to our lives to know that in this trial, steadfastness is being developed in all of us. I've seen this in our students. I've seen this in our staff. Um, and I've seen this in my own family, um, this trial that has developed in us the spirit of perseverance and steadfastness. And so just very thankful for all of um, our Hickory Grove family coming together and making the best of this situation. Students want to encourage you to continue to be involved. Um, stay in the process. I know this is going to get old at some point. You're going to want to give up, and um, that's not who we are as a family and a community of people. Uh, we want to persevere and to do our best as we honor the Lord together. Um, hope you enjoy the updates below. Students, check out the Spotify playlist. Some really good music there coming out um, from Pastor Gerald. Also, a devotion from Ben today. What else is going on? Um, it's raining outside, ain't it? Yeah. Well, and so we're kind of stuck in here. So we're going to make the most of the day. Enjoy your family, students, and uh, remember to stay active some way, somehow. Get out, do a little bit of jogging, running, do some push-ups, do a little AMRAP, a little CrossFit or something. Um, I know that's what we've been doing in the afternoons, trying to stay active as well. So just want to say a quick word this morning, and hopefully you guys are going to have a great day. Get those assignments turned in and keep it up.